I'm going to show you a very useful tool that I have been using a lot in the past couple months called Shadow Chat. So, what's the goal of Shadow Chat? Now, a lot of people nowadays, they will have, you know, they're streamers, they're doing streams, they're doing live streams, they just want, like, donations and stuff like that, and all of that is usually tethered to the fraudulent Federal Reserve System or fiat currency or crap like that. Uh, the thing is, the only way to transact value with all free software and privacy respecting software is to use cryptocurrency, preferably a private cryptocurrency like Monero. Uh, but the thing is, you can't really send messages to people at the same time, right? So this is the goal of Shadow Chat. I've been using this in live streams and stuff for the past couple months. It works very well. Very minimalistic program. Uh, I recommend you to use it even if, you know, you just have a minor internet presence. It's actually just a good way to have a donation portal in general because it allows people to send you a little bit of Monero with a message at the same time, okay? Uh, and it has, you know, whenever I start a live stream, I always tell people, do not use the YouTube Super Chat function. I should just disable it, to be honest. Because if you send me $2 on YouTube, I will get like 30 cents of that. That's really a donation to YouTube. I, I just want people to understand. So it's better to self-host it, use free software, use Monero. So let's talk about this. Um, this is what it looks like if you've never seen it. Um, when I do live streams, actually, let me go ahead and pull up OBS because OBS is going to be used for this. Uh, when I do live streams, right, um, I will usually, I have this linked here, xmr.luksmith.xyz, um, and this is what it looks like. People can just say, oh, my name's Billy, uh, I want to donate one Monero, and here's my message. Here is a message, okay, and I can just say pay, um, and then you just send one Monero to this address, which, of course, you get a QR code, or if you want to copy the, uh, this, you can do it as well. And once that happens, it actually does three things. Uh, Shadow Chat gives you, uh, I'm not going to pull it up because it'll have, you know, information of people, or not information of people, but messages they may want to have wanted private, or at least names private. Um, they give you uh, a little, well, at least like do this. If you go to slash view on your site, it will ask for a username and password of the admin and it will display all the messages and donations and stuff like that. So you can view it like there. Um, it also will pop up with a little message on OBS and it will also send you an email. That's actually, I prefer getting emails, um, but let me show you what the OBS messages look like. Uh, so I, I just emulated it a second ago, um, but so I'm gonna, show you what it looks like. Okay, so that's what it looks like here. So you'll just get a little thing here. And I will say, I have I have it so it doesn't display the message. Um, but let me disable that. Let me show you how it... So you can get it to display the whole message as well. Right? So if I want that, um, you can have... Someone can send in the donation and it'll pop up. If the guy is streaming, it will pop up on their stream. Let's see. It's going to happen eventually. There it is. Okay? Um, now, with anything in OBS, I'll go ahead and say this because I have OBS pulled up and I don't want to have it open the whole video. Um, as you saw me doing a second ago, you can put in custom CSS here. So by default, when I when I stream, especially on YouTube, uh, you know, I don't want people, if they're saying a bunch of gamer words or schizo posting or something, I don't necessarily want their message to display on stream because I don't want it to be cringe. So I act you can actually hide the, the quote of the message. Uh, and I think here I make the background uh, of the whole thing um, invisible, uh, transparent. That's a word I'm looking for. So you can change, you know, the CSS. I, I mean, if you're an OBS user, you probably know how to do this stuff. But you can change the CSS so that now that I've made the block quote not display, you will see when this comes up in two seconds. It, there it is. There's no message attached. It does not appear. Okay. So this program is very extensible because it interfaces well with OBS. As I said, it'll send you an email as well, and it will show you uh, the thing that I'm not pulling up, the, the little message feed. So either way, very simple to set up. Um, there are really three things you got to set up uh, to get it working. You want to have, um, you want to install Monero, okay? Uh, actually, on my server here, I have Arch Linux running. I usually use Debian for uh, servers. Um, but Arch Linux is nice because it ha does have Monero in its main repositories. Maybe Debian nowadays has Monero in its main repositories. I'm not quite sure. But I know Arch does. 
Um, so if you have Debian, you have to install Monero manually, but with Arch, you can just install it. And it does run on, this program runs with Go, so you'll want to have Go installed as well. Um, and Debian, it's Golang in the repository, same thing. Uh, either way, to install this program, you just run these commands. I've already installed it on my system, it's not a big issue. Um, and you do get a nice little config file uh, that you will want to edit. So just to be clear, I am in slash root slash shadow chat. That's where I lazily put it. Um, now the config file, which is inside, looks something like this, and you can set, you can change a lot of the the um, uh, the parameters here. Uh, you might want to set uh, a minimum donation, uh, and that's just so people don't send you, you know, one millionth of a Monero and spam it over and over again just to get people's attention. Uh, or you might want a higher amount or something like that. Uh, you can change how long the messages can be. Uh, you also, this is where you put in your information of your mail server or your email account. You can use any email account that you can access. Just be be clear, uh, you will want to have your, I, your you know, ISP or whatever open mail port so you can send out mails or your VPS provider. Um, so I have mine sent from this donation address with this obviously fake password. Um, and I have them send to, you know, this email address that I use for YouTube stuff. Um, another thing you can change is if you look on this main page again, let's go back here. Um, there is this checkbox. Me and the creator were talking about this for a little bit. Do we want the, do we want it by default to have this thing checked or not? Do we want the default to display the donation amount or not? Because some people, when they're donating, they might want to be anonymous with how much they, they're donating. But what should be de the default? Either way, you can make the own decision, your own decision. If you want um, uh, it to be checked by default and show the amount, then you know you can say true, otherwise false. Um, and so, yeah, that's, basi that's basically all the settings you have to set here. Now, as for setting everything else up, once you edit the config file and you install all this kind of stuff, you're going to want two things running at all times. You're going to want the Monero wallet RC, R, RPC running, okay? And what that does is it's going to connect to some public node or whatever. It, doesn't, it could be your own that you're running. And it is going to check to see if you have gotten a transaction there. So that's the one thing you want running. You want Monero. And you want Shadow Chat running because that basically talks to Monero and that create, you know, that sends out the emails, gives the OBS notifications, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, so what I do for both of these things, uh, and I will go ahead and say, um, by default, the uh, Shadow Chat broadcasts to this um, um, port. That's the thing I'm looking for. So you'll want to set that up with Nginx, but I'll show you the config files for everything right now. Um, so I set up uh, everything with system D so I don't have to worry about it if I'm running a system D distribution, right? So for example, the Monero, I made up a, where is it, system, yeah, yeah, Etsy system D system. And I, so I made a little service for system D called Monero Monitor. And what that does is it runs the required Monero wallet RPC, RPC command. Um, so you'll want to have a wall. Oh, actually, I, sh I should have said this. Um, off of your server on your own computer, you'll want to generate, of course, a Monero wallet to use for this. And then you create a view only wallet version of that. And then you put that on your server. So that's what this is right here. So I have a little wallet file that I put on my server. And of course, you want view only because if someone hacks your server, you don't want them to be able to steal your actual Monero. This is, you only need a view wallet. You only need a view key and stuff like that. Uh, and I am displaying my password. You actually don't need a password at all. For some reason, I encrypted it. I don't know why I did that. Um, but uh, that is not, is my phone ringing? Uh, I thought my phone was ringing for a second. Um, yeah, you don't need a password. I, maybe I should change this password. It doesn't matter. You'd have to hack into my server to actually use this. Either way, um, so you'll want the Monero wallet thing, and this is what my systemd service for that looks like. And then at the same time, you'll want to make a shadow chat service, which uh, I'm going to retype all of this crap, systemd, and then shadow chat. And this looks like, yeah, so... The only thing here is you want to make sure that your working directory is where you actually have shadow chat. I, again, lazily stored it in root slash shadow chat. Uh, and then you just have it run this command to run it. Okay. Now, again, that is going to be broadcasting to this port. 
And what that means is if you're running Nginx, Nginx which I am, uh, you are going to want an Nginx site, uh, site uh, enabled uh, shadow chat. Um, you are going to want your Nginx uh, server to look at this port and broadcast it to the URL you want. In my case, that's um, xmr.lukesmith.xyz. Okay. So that's all you need. You just need the Nginx thing set up like this, Shadow Chat itself, and then Monero. And once you have all that, you can actually pretty much set it and forget it. And um, you will just be able to take donations, and it's nice and easy. Um, so, uh, I don't know if the creator who made this intends on adding some more stuff, but we were talking about some other things. A block list for words that you want to censor. Again, that's like if you're, if you're broadcasting to YouTube or something that is going to ban you if people use gamer words, um, you might want something like that. Um, and also, uh, a thing, one thing it doesn't have now that I know some streaming things have is like a, um... Uh, a, a list of top donors, right? Because some some people who do OBS streaming, they do that. I haven't done that in like years and years. I think it's kind of, I don't want to say it's kind of shilly. I mean, there are reasons to do it. Um, and then I, I think it used to have like, yeah, Discord. I think he already deleted that kind of stuff. I'm not quite sure. Because, you know, integrating with Discord is like beyond cringe. Um, but, um, so either way, if you want to donate to the guy who made it, uh, check out um, check out the repository. This is his donation address. He's a, don't ask me who he is. I don't know who he is, um, but uh, he just reached out to me with this. Um, so yeah, donate to him or check out the source hut, which I think is pretty much the same thing. I think I maybe made one or two changes to this README. Um, so it's very nice. Oh, and I will say this: um, if you don't like, uh, of course, you can style this site to however you want if you want to change the CSS or make it look different but even aside from that because this is not this is minimalistic software that's not running all this JavaScript garbage uh, if you want you can actually just go in here and copy and paste this form into your own website right you can just copy and paste it as long as all of this stuff is running on this server you can copy and paste this to another server uh, some other web page and it'll work pretty much without a problem. The only thing you have to change here is um, the form action thing. Instead of having slash pay, you're going to want to put the whole URL, you know, HTTPS, xmr.luksmith.xyz slash pay. Uh, that's the only thing you have to change. But yeah, you can, you can like integrate this into whatever website you want. Uh, so it's very useful. And again, I've been using it for probably the past like three streams. I, I might actually end up doing it in another stream today uh, if um, I, I have kind of a free day today. Um, so maybe in the afternoon I'll do that anyway. But it's worked very well for me. And, um, you know, even though fewer people are using Monero than, you know, fiat currency, I will say, you know, people are proud to use it. So uh, I, I think I know there are at least one or two streams where I probably got more money in Monero than I did in, uh, you know, I, I also allow people to donate by credit cards or whatever. So, um, yeah, it's something to look into. And, you know, I, I said people, I said to people before when I did like my videos on setting up a, uh, you know, Monero wallet or whatever, that I always recommend people to just put cryptocurrency stuff out there. Even if you, if, even, even if you don't think that you're going to get like donations in this, I recommend you to run it just uh, to be, I don't know, to increase the public profile of it. You know, that, that's my way of putting it. Like, I, I'm a firm believer, believer in the fact that every person on the internet should have a Monero and a Bitcoin donation address on their website just to say, I use this stuff. It's stuff that people use even if you have no, even if you have cringe stuff on your website that, you know, no one's, you don't think anyone's ever going to see or, you know, donate to. That That's just my personal view. Same thing with this. Uh, you might need a VPS to host this, but... Uh, and by the way, if you're a Monero person who is watching this video and confused by the technology, like you don't know how to set things up, uh, if you're a high profile guy, I will be, I am willing to set this up for you if you don't know how to do it. Um, so you can contact me about that. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's about it. I probably talked for longer than I expected, but you know, once you get this set up, very nice. I highly recommend it. And I'll see you guys next time.